Lord Chumley on the train to Wolsery, his brow it was furrowed with gravest concern, for he'd had to cut short his holiday in Cossie to see his urologist, a doctor named Colburn. He was joined by Lord Worcester, a right bantam rooster, who'd just been in Barwick at his country estate. But the weather turned drizzly, and his house guest, Earl Risley, just wouldn't leave, so he made his escape. From Lempster to Gumster to Lynn You mustn't assume you can say what you see Or you might end up feeling quite dim For in old camp the locals say often To the natives of Blidworth it's Blid If any British name could bring you to shame For it just might be a shibboleth Stichel, Lord Chumley, took leave to withdraw to a wagon-lit carriage in hopes of some sleep. We were then joined at Ratchet by old lady Fanshawe, as well as the grandson of Samuel Pepys. And soon Robert Mom waltzed in with aplomb as he travelled from Punnel to Winbury. Lady Sarah D.L., dressed all in pastel, was bound for her uncles in Trosley. And be from Lempster to Gumster to Lim. You mustn't assume you can say what you see, or you might end up feeling quite dim. For in old camp, the locals say often to the natives of Blidworth, it's Blid. If any British name could bring you to shame, for it just might be a shibboleth. From Aislee to Ozingby, from Lempster to Gumster to Lim. You mustn't assume you can say what you see, or you might end up feeling quite dim. For in old camp, the locals say often to the natives of Blidworth, it's Blid. If any British name could bring you to shame, for it just might be. We are shivering.